called on the Lord, I said, yeah, Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't have, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shot, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. destroying their past. I mean they, because they know absolutely nothing. But you know who does? Christ. Right. Christ knows something. He knows how to lead his people. He knows how to operate the earth. He knows how to rule. He knows how to lead. So you should follow that man. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and stop following after, after these oppressors. So I'm spending everywhere. Stop following after these people. Poor lunatics. Don't even know how to watch their own behind. You know what I mean? Verse 13. Even in laughter, the hearts is sorrowful. There is a way which seemed right unto a man. And this way, everybody thought it was right. Everybody, I mean, everybody thought this way was right. But, I mean, they, it's, now, it's now time to see that this way was what? Keep on going. But the end thereof are the ways of death. That this, this way that we choose, that this path that we chose was death. It led us to the trial. I mean, Martin Luther King himself even realized that this path led his people to destruction. That's why he said, I have led my people into a burning house. Because he realized that, uh, that, that the, the, the path that he chose led his people to destruction. That it was going to destroy his people. He thought this way was right. He thought this way was correct. But then in the end, right, I mean, right before his death, he ended up realizing that this path was the way to destruction. And blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you got to realize that this way is the way to destruction. Right. You got to open your eyes and realize that you are being led down a path of destruction. Right. You, can't vote, you can't vote for these people. They ain't going to do nothing for you. Like the scripture says, we look up for a nation that cannot save us. I mean, now you try to vote for these people, they can't save you. They ain't finna do nothing for you. They might come out here with their smooth words and tell you they're all about you and they love you. But in the end, they don't care about you. Because as soon as they get in the office, they forgot about you. They ain't even thinking about you. You ain't even on their mind no more. Now they want to come out and try to kick you out. Black Hispanics and Native Americans. That's why Trump trying to build a wall. Hey, I mean, he's saying he all for people, all for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But as soon as he get in the office, you know what he's going to do? He's going to try to kick you out the country. Right. He's going to try to try to put you in uh, a, a, a more taxes on you. That's exactly what he's going to try to do. He's not for you, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why it's important that we stop voting for these people. What has done absolutely nothing for us, but destroyed us further. Go ahead and read that scripture again. There is a way which seemed right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Give me Jeremiah 23 and 25. Man, this way, it may seem correct. It may seem, uh, you know, correct to join everybody and to try to fight for our votes, just like patriots and, and like the white man. It, it may seem correct to do this thing, but it's not. Because blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the truth is, you supposed to be a separate people with one ruler. And that ruler is supposed to be Christ. That's who's supposed to be ruling you, not the oppressor. So what are you doing out here voting for two lunatics? Right. Put, uh, put that vote away, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and get in here and eyes you became and serve your, your true king. That's, right. That's who you need to serve. That's right. Not some lunatics who, ain't, who, who don't care about you, who can care less if you struggle on the streets, who can care less if you out here starving. Hey, go ahead and read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 25. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophesied lies in my name. Hey, you hear that? I have heard what the prophet said. That prophesied lies in my name. Keep on reading. Say, I have dreamed. Hey, I hey, have dreamed. I have a dream. Hey, I, I mean, Martin Luther King telling you that he has a dream. That he has the way. He has the path to be able to lead you to the correct way. He, 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 he believes this path is correct. And he's going to be able to lead the people. Read that from the top again. And you shall be holy. I have heard what the prophet said, that they prophesied lies in my name, saying I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Yeah, and he's saying I have dreamed a 
a dream. He, he's telling you he has a dream that little black girls and little uh, little white girls gonna join hands together, and little black boys and little uh, white girls, I mean, little uh, white boys are gonna be able to join hands and hand together. But when has that ever happened? Have we reached that point now? No, I don't see black uh, black people and white people join their hands. I see black uh, black people getting stabbed and unalive by white people. I see them being oppressed by white people. Right. That's what I do see here in America. I, I see black men being oppressed by these white women. That's what I do see here in America. Right. Hey, keep on reading. Verse 26. How long shall this be in heart of the prophecy that, prophe that prophecy lies? Now, how long, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are we going to continue to believe that this is the correct way? That, but, you know, going out and trying to join hands with this other nation is the correct way. Trying to go out and vote for these people who don't give a damn about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is the correct way. How long are we going to believe this? How long are we going to come out here and try to, uh, you know, have love for the oppressor? Right. After he sticks you six feet in the ground. You about reading? Yeah, they are prophets of the deceased of their own heart. Let me let me help you understand some blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They are prophets of, of the. What does it say again? Yeah, they are prophets of the deceased of their own heart. And they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. You know what, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Let me help you understand that the, that uh, uh, the, your Christian church. They're only following after their heart. They're only following after the lust of their heart. Just like Martin Luther King Jr. was doing. You know what Martin Luther King Jr. was trying to do? He was trying to uh, he was trying to follow after his lust. Have orgy parties with white women. Right. That's what Martin Luther King Jr. was trying to do. And he was trying to fulfill his lust. He wasn't really sincere about leading the people. He was really he was really sincere about getting that, that pussy from that white woman. That's what he was really sincere about. He wasn't sincere about really getting his people in a good situation. He only led them to further captivity, further destruction, because the path that he took, took us to destruction. That's the path that, that, that everybody thought was right. That's the path that our people think is right. But it's really the incorrect path. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you need to get on the right path, the path to righteousness. And the only way you can do that is getting here in the ISBK. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's the only way. Deceit in their own hearts. Martin Luther, uh, give me, um, give me, uh, give me, give me, give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Because Martin Luther King, all he wanted to do was sleep with a white woman. That's all he wanted to do. That's right. That's what his heart was after. He was after them white women. The white women who, who, who are counted as dogs. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Americans, I'm gonna, I need you to know, to know something. You need to watch out for them white women. You need to watch out for them, most definitely. You got that scripture? Deuteronomy. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Hold on, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because everybody thinks the path that uh, Martin Luther King was taking us down was correct. But to be honest, Martin Luther King was going against everything that was in this Bible. Right. He, he was prophesying lies. Right. Telling you of uh, this path, uh, it's correct. It's the correct path. He was leading you down a path of destruction. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. America can't lead you. Go ahead. Thy daughter thou shall not give unto his son. Read from the top. Read from the top. Neither shall thou make marriage with them. Hold on, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You should go out and make marriages with these white women. Go out and make marriages with 
Aunties, East Indian woman. Read it again. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. No, 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 no. The Lord is allowing you to make marriages with all these other nations. He said it's okay. He said you can go out of there and, and be with these women. So Neither shall thou make marriages with them. He said you shouldn't even make marriages with them. Why, why is that? Well, go, go ahead and read from the top again, actually. Neither, the, neither shall thou make marriages with them. You shouldn't make marriages with these other nations, like Hispanics and Native Americans. But it's crazy because I see so many of our people out here making marriage. You see blacks, white, uh, black people, right. uh, black men walking with these white women down the street, right. thinking that is it's something normal. To me, it's out of the ordinary. You're going against the law, black Hispanics and Native Americans. Our people, we are going against the law whenever we do that. That's why we got to stop being out here and, and making marriages with these oppressors. People who don't even care about you. People who are secretly trying to stab you in the back, black Hispanics and Native Americans. And I mean, look how many brothers struggle whenever they get with the white Look at Kanye West. Look how much he failed because he got with the white woman. Right. And look at him. This white woman, I mean, he married this white woman and she took half his money. She got him on child support and now look, he's struggling. Yeah, he's struggling. What's that one who got with, uh, 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 Ben Affleck? You know that. Oh, man. What would you do if you were no, Jennifer Lopez. Look at Jennifer Lopez. Now, Jennifer Lopez out here living a terrible life after she got with this white man. Yeah, they divorced. Their lives ended up being terrible. Black Hispanics and Americans, the thing that you should do is get in the eyes of the K and learn how to, how to sustain your marriage. Right. Learn how to sustain together. That's what you got to do. The problem, the problem is you don't know how to sustain your marriage. You don't know how to stay together and work through these problems. I mean, as soon as you come upon a problem in your marriage, the first thing you want to do is quit. Because that's what America teaches you to do. Quit and leave that man. Now, you deserve better. You got to leave that man and go and find a new man. Go and get yourself a white man. No, that's not how this works. Black Hispanics and Native Americans. You better strengthen up Black Hispanics and Native Americans and stay with that man. Stay with that woman and fight through these problems. Right. right now, we got a lot of problems here in America right now. Right. We're going through a lot of problems. And the thing that we got to do is we got to learn to stay together and work through those problems. Because if we don't, we're going to be destroyed. Right.